Hello everybody and welcome to Sin City Living. My name is Jason and I'll be bringing you today's video. Just had a few things I wanted to go over real fast. First, our usual shout out of appreciation to all of our patrons out there. We appreciate all those tips and support. And I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the videos that we put out for you guys exclusively every single week, including the How to Deal Craps instructional set that is ongoing. And uh, if you're curious about it, go ahead and check the description of the video down below. And also I wanted to go over we have uh, we've had a couple of questions about the uh, about this uh, little neon light thing that we've been uh, putting on some of our other uh, some of our other videos. So if anybody's interested in one of these, just shoot us an email at sincitylivinglv at gmail dot com. And uh, so I did another test of our live stream, another attempt to do the live stream. So I now know that I have the right equipment, the right camera the right uh, programming, able to get all of that done. Unfortunately, what I did discover is that my computer was not strong enough, was not powerful enough to be able to encode and upload it as an actual live stream. So I'm going to continue tweaking with that, although it may turn out that I'm just going to have to wait until I can afford to buy a newer, more powerful computer for that. Uh, so that will be on the list. Um, so. It does look like live streaming may not be as upcoming as I was hoping. It's going to take a little bit of time to generate that up. And uh, otherwise, please make sure you email us with any uh, questions, strategies, anything you would like us to video. We love shooting these videos for you guys. If not, I'm going to go straight into today's video. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of Crossfire. Hi. Shut down. And <laughs> what I do? What I doing? <laughs> and if you're curious what Crossfire means, just look for our previous episode on Crossfire. So for today's episode, a excellent idea from Louie over here. We're going to talk about some of the funniest <laughs> oh, things that really we've cool. heard on the tables. Since it was his idea, I'm sure he's got one or two. Do I've it. heard some Go outlandish things. Okay, uh, it, mainly it's it's about it's when you're on a dice crew and you're just roasting each other. I mean, granted, you're on the floor, you know. Uh, you, uh, Blackjack, and you hear it from the floors too, or you get other dealers. But there's this one that that murdered me. Okay, uh, so this was when I had a set crew uh, when I used to work with the with Jason and Amy, and we were on the we we're on the same. Me and Jason were on the same shift, and I had my my set crew, which is a really good crew. And one of them said something. Uh, he goes, "Hey, uh, look at that old man right there. He looks like he's a uh, having a bad hair day." <laughs> And this 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 old man looks like he's about to kill over. <laughs> he's he's like he's you know he's just he looks like a he looks like a wreck, but he's playing craps, you know. Blends yeah, in my, with everyone else. My crew, yeah, right. <laughs> my crewmate goes, hey, look at that guy. He looks like he's having a bad hair day. And then the box the box <laughs> leads over. He goes, I think he's just happy to be having a date. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. I gotta ask you later who, who Yeah, said that. that was hilarious. Oh. Some of the uh, some of the funny ones I've heard were stick calls. Some good stick calls. When when I was at the breaking casino where they didn't ride us as hard about staying proper and nobody actually cared because they were all working at other better places. Right. Um, you know, twelve crap twelve, all the dots, all the spots, second biggest pair on the table. Yeah. Um, and uh, the zipper ripper three crap. Oh, yeah, the hard ways, you know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> the zipper ripper. Hard ten, hard ten. <laughs> zipper or, ripper. Or ten, oh, hard God. ten, ladies best friend. Uh, six, hard six, the national average. Uh, four, hard four. Just like Jason. Yeah, four, hard four, maybe small, but at least it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> three crap three, a deuce, the old one two, where I come from, we call that the shocker. Um, and you can actually. Sl Slide, slide it in. You can actually, <laughs> you can actually slip that wow. one in sometimes, even even at a more proper place. The where, shocker? Yeah, because you, you just you know three crap three. There's a shocker. Mm. Nobody really notices, and and it can the ones that do. It, it can be taken a couple different ways. So you're okay. It's just like when when a player throws a chip in, and <clears throat> the dealer manages to catch it out of the air, and another dealer goes, "Nice snatch." Yeah, just shaved. Yeah, exactly. Mm. That's that's the <laughs> usual response. Is thanks. I just shaved. But most people don't catch that. There's a there's a good one. Is uh, usually you see uh, inexperienced players. Let's say they have uh, uh, they're playing multicolored. They usually put like let's, let's say they have something like uh, five red, and then they win a green. They put the green on top. You know they just they, they don't know the the higher denominations go on the bottom. So 
the dealers, you know, usually the dealers fix it. <laughs> One I heard was, uh, excuse me, sir, it's, uh, it's just like cheerleading. The big ones go on the bottom. Damn. I, thought, I heard that, and I thought that was hilarious. And only one player got that. <laughs> Everybody else was like, mm -hmm, and nobody noticed. You know, a lot of a lot of them kind of slide right by people. One of one of uh, right one of my favorite ones was um, when I was on my very first full time crew, and we had uh, with somebody that uh, let's say could be very cutting with their remarks to the players. You're gonna learn today. <laughs> so uh, yep. he's on he's on base. I'm on stick, and the player throws in a five dollar chip, and and I'm, I stop the dice, and I'm like, you know, well, what are you what are you betting? And Couple they're just. Numbers. They're they're hmm. pointing. They're just pointing at the at the uh, center layout. I I'm like, this. what do you want to bet? You got to tell me the number. And I I know what they were trying to. They were going to say the 16 for one because a lot of people do that. 16 for one and 31 for one. Well, and, which one? <laughs> right. There's so many of them. But I didn't let him finish the sentence. So he's like, I, I'm because I want to move the dice. I'm like, come on. So you got to tell us something. What number? There's pictures printed on here. He goes, the the 16, the 16. I'm with the dice. Don't go that high. And I moved the, I moved the dice. <laughs> And yeah, that crewmate of mine just started cracking, <laughs> um, and, and he, he kept repeating that for the next couple of minutes. And just the dice don't go that high, and then he just started laughing. I got one. I thought you were gonna say uh, the uh, the one that. Uh... Oh, I'm, I'm gonna add okay. that one too. Yeah, same same situation. Somebody throws a chip in, and they're they're doing this, <laughs> and my crewmate goes point louder. <laughs> <laughs> I lost it. Just absolutely yep. lost it. Yep, you knew exactly what I was talking about. Point, Point louder. louder. No, I was like, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Spectacular. And, and these play the players really have nothing they can say. Like they're just looking at you. Like, what do you want well, me to say? Like say something. <laughs> Point louder. Point, or point louder. <laughs> That one was absolutely good. delightful. I was, I was uh, dying when he said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he had the best off the cuff. Oh, he, yeah, remarks. he would have some. He would definitely have some some good ones. I mean, there's a few that that we can't say on on YouTube because oh. with, with, between the crews that are not loud enough for the uh, the players to hear. But yeah, we'll say some stuff that's. Pretty amusing. Pretty bad to each other. There's so much filth that goes on too. Oh yeah, oh. it's it's There's absolutely so spectacular. Filth. I uh, I heard one a long time ago. A planet far in a galaxy far far away. No no it was here. Oh, it was here. <laughs> this galaxy this one. But uh, there was this kid. He was walking by the craps table and he's like asking all kinds of questions. He's like, you know, he, he's new to the, he's new to the casino, you know, the casino environment and whatnot. He's asking questions and he's like, uh, hey, uh, so how late are you? How late are you guys gonna stay open? How late's the casino gonna stay open? Uh, <laughs> and then my, <laughs> my crewmate looks down on his watch. He goes, what time is it? Eleven? Yeah, we'll be open a couple more hours. And there was something so funny about it. And this kid was like, oh, okay, I'll try to be back within then. Like he thinks like he thought the casino was gonna close down. I, I, it was it was a you had to be there moment. It was funny. I'd be willing to bet it's probably the same crew member that made the comment. There's somebody that uh, um, that wasn't playing. They were just watching, and this is right after right after uh, the uh, pandemic to reopen all the various little rules and all that. But she asked, she just asked a question, and uh, oh, she just asked like you know, is it okay for me to watch or something like that? And he goes, well, if you're not betting, you have to stand behind the yellow line. She actually looked at, said, looking around and stepped back and was just look, then she looked up at him mm. and just gave him the dirtiest look, and then she started laughing and went, okay, that was pretty good. There's a lot of there's I've been a lot meaning of to use that one on somebody ever since. What about blackjack? People have got to have said some stuff on blackjack. People say all sorts of stuff on blackjack, <laughs> man. I was at my breaking casino and I'm I'm dealing blackjack. We've got a, a relatively full table, maybe five or six people, and we're we're having a good time. We're cutting it up. We're joking, and and you know it's getting a little uh, I won't say out of hand, but it's getting a little risque. And then uh, one of the other players, I, I can't remember how the conversation went, but they end up bringing up like, okay, who's your celebrity crush? And one of the players, the player right in front of me, this, this uh, lady says, Ruby Rose. And as soon as she said Ruby Rose, 
I looked at her and I went, your celebrity crush looks like a 12 year old boy? <laughs> and the whole rest of the table just lost it. And after that, every time that lady opened her mouth to make some joke, some one other player would say, is it a 12 year old boy? <laughs> just nonstop for the next probably hour. It was, it was great, that, that lady just got ruined by the rest of the table. Players. See, Bach players, I'm sure, said some stupid stuff. Bach players might be more superstitious than craps players. It's pretty uh, close. Oh, yeah. Uh, Bach players, the ones I deal to, I mean, for the most part, they really don't talk. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. So they don't want Too busy to talk writing things to down. They don't really talk. I mean, some of them do, and if they, you know, some of them you can't really understand because they don't speak the language, or they do, but they don't just, they, they fake that they don't. Hmm. Yeah, and then there's some that just I've, I've dealt to some people on Bach Rod that it's just a group of people like a group of friends wanting to have a good time uh, I dealt to a group of Hawaiians on Bach Rod and uh, they were they were fun they, was like, they weren't like the, the normal Bach player where they're chain smoking and they're, they're looking like they're in a bad mood and no they, they were having a good time that's unusual yeah, it happens <laughs> it's rare but it happens. I have one. I forget. I forget who who, who was sitting in box, but I forget the, the the context. But something happened where. Uh, oh, I remember. Yeah, the, the box goes. Hey, uh, I'm not gonna say the, the dealer's name, but he goes. Hey, uh, yeah, that's, yeah. You gotta put your back into it. And I leaned over and I said, he's more of the kind to put his ass into it. And if you don't get the reference. <laughs> If you don't get the reference, it's not funny to you, but if you get the reference, it's freaking hilarious. He's like, yeah, you gotta, yeah, yeah, you can do it. Put your back into it. I'm like, yeah, I'm like he's more of the kind to put his ass into it. You should see me with a salad. Oh, my God. Are you going to say that one on here? No. No? Why? No. Oh. no, 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 no. Why? I've got some raunchy ones, too. Oh, yeah. There's some, some that we just cannot say. We may, yeah, the one- we may film... One Ooh, for, Patreon. for Patreon. Yeah. And the one, save the things that we The one I have, oh, I yeah. cannot say on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, I've got one that I can't say on YouTube. So, yeah, you. for our for our VIP and up patrons, we will film we'll, we'll film one with some, some of the things that we, we really don't want to say on YouTube. Like the one that just happened to me uh, last week. So, I hope you guys enjoy this. Find it interesting, amusing, enlightening, or at least just plain fun. This is Sin City Living and Crossfire. I'm Jason. Louie. Amy. And we will catch you guys next time. Bye. Bye now. Okay, guys. So as I promised at the end of the videos, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the live stream and how it's going to work. So the first thing is if you're interested in being one of the players for our craps tournaments, um, which is we're going to have every single week, um, please email us at sincitylivinglv at gmail.com. I need the email addresses so and know want to know who is interested so that we can get it set up and we can select it. I'm going to have the first round is going to be 16 players. There will be four players per week. The fifth week is going to be the four champions from the previous weeks to get an ultimate champion. I haven't decided yet what the prize will be. Maybe I'll see if I can pick up another one of these lights. And But we'll have some sort of prize for our, uh, um, for our champion. Um, so please, if you're interested, email us. I, I want to pick the first eight players, the first two weeks worth of players, so that uh, we'll have the first four ready for the first week, and the other four will be kind of backup, just in case somebody has connection issues or something comes up and they're not able to play that week, then I've got the other players on standby so I can just bump one of them up or maybe shift the first person down or something, something along those lines. Um, the main tournament is going to be Thursdays at 6 o'clock, uh, my time, Las Vegas time, 6 p.m. Las Vegas time. And it's, uh, the way it's going to work is it's going to be a time thing. I'm going to do the live stream for an hour. I'm going to do the game for an hour, rather. And uh, it might work out to about 30 rolls. might work out to about 40 rolls. I'm not too sure. We'll see how it goes. But it's going to be time. It's going to be an hour. Instead of uh, the craps tournaments that they do down on the strip where it's 30 rolls, we're going to do an hour. So I want to keep, make sure I have a finite time limit for this to start with. And then we will go from there. I'm going to find a way, either a... Discord or a Zoom or a private chat room, some way for the players to be logged into something where I can communicate with them on my second computer 
so that they can tell me what their bets are, what they want to bet, what they want to press when something hits without me having to scroll through the full chat of the live stream itself. I'm not going to be able to keep an eye on that. And if we have enough people watching and chatting, it could be difficult to keep an eye. So I have to figure that part out. Another reason I need the emails so I can communicate back and forth with the potential players. So if you're interested, again, please email me. Um, eventually, just pretty much everybody's going to have an opportunity to be in on these things because we're going to do multiple ones. I'm also looking at probably doing a second uh, craps tournament, maybe late Wednesday nights, um, possibly, I'm not sure, where I'm going to do it a little bit different. The second one is going to be instead of one hour and then whoever's got the most chips is the winner. Because those craps tournaments tend to have really weird strategies. They're not normal strategies, strategies that you'd see in normal play because you're competing against other players and you, you just want to make sure you have more chips than them by the end. What I'm going to do with the second tournament is instead of a weekly winner, we're going to play for an hour and then I'll keep track of how much uh, money people still have on their, or how many chips they still have. And then the next week, same players are going to keep going. Basically, this, this game will go until the bankrolls end, until we have one person with money left um, or chips left. Again, there's no money involved in this. So um, once, uh, um, once we have one final winner, so people will drop out as their, as their uh, play money bankrolls expire, as they, as they run, out of, uh, run out of chips. Um, so that one, I'm, I'm guessing, we'll see some more normal strategies, the kind of things people actually play when they're, when they're actually playing craps. And then eventually we're going to add uh, Baccarat, Pi Gao, um, Three Card Poker, um, Blackjack, of course, to, uh, to these tournaments, whatever we can, to these live streams and live stream tournaments, whatever we can, when we can as best we can. We're going to have to figure it out as we go. We have a lot of time constraints between me working full time plus a child. Um, but we're going to do the best we can. We're, we're very, very excited to, to uh, have this going. And we also will try and pick a day or time where I can do a patron exclusive tournament or two. We'll see. We'll see how many, uh, how many of our patrons are interested. And, uh, and see if we can't get that going as well where it's, where it's only on the patron site. Um, so definitely stay tuned guys please if you're interested in playing in one of the uh, one of the tournaments we're partaking in in our live streams aside from just the chat obviously it's a live stream please watch chat with us let us know how it's going or what you think and uh, um, otherwise please again email us sincitylivinglv at gmail.com otherwise I hope you guys are enjoying the videos any suggestions please hit us up Thank you guys very, very much. We appreciate every single one of you guys, and we will catch you guys next time. Bye now.